I I heard it pop, so I thought I tore it. Something extremely bad happened. I just hit the floor so hard that it caused like deep bone bruise, and then I went back and I heard it snap. So I thought maybe it's it for the season. So. What percent would you say you're at today? Yeah. Well, I've taken a few days off, so I was a little slow at the start, but I feel good. Probably ninety percent. Do you? Do you chalk that up to just luck being okay? Is it new flexibility? I know you talked a lot about stretching or? It's a combination of both. You know, I've been working on flexibility since I got back. The doctor said that had a huge part of it, just being flexible, that it didn't tear. And just got lucky. Big blessing. Kyle, these guys hit 10 threes against you guys, and it's been kind of Achilles heel for you guys. Can mm -hmm. you just speak to that challenge? and? Maybe what you came out of the St. Mary's game with in the second half is very good defense. I mean, tie those together. Yeah, it's just when we don't let teams shoot threes, we win. It's, it's that simple. So that's huge for us. And Gonzaga has a lot of shooters. They have at least three really good shooters, and we have to limit their attempts. Can't let them get a lot of attempts because they'll make them. And the, the carryover from St. Mary's second half, do you think you guys learned something about yourself, the way you played? Yeah, defense that was, won that game. Yeah, defense won that game, and it was good. We needed a game like that, a close game where we had to dig down and get key stops. So that was good for our team, especially with the end of the season coming up in tournament time. What are the challenges for you? You're kind of an in-between guy as far as, I don't know how much you'll necessarily guard Pangos or Bell, but what do you see your role as in, in eliminating that three-point line, those guys? I think for... For me and just for the team is communication. You know, if you get stuck on a screen, we just got to yell out and tell the bigs to show a little bit more. Just communicate and just run them off the line and make them hit tough shots or twos. Kyle, you're the only guy on the team I think that's beat Gonzaga. What uh, are you imparting any wisdom from that game a long time ago? Or? No, I just I really believe every game we play, we can win and. I just try to carry that mindset with our team that we can win tomorrow and we're going to play well and we will win. Just get that mindset. And when people are, second half, we got that mindset at St. Mary's that we're going to win this game. We don't know how, but we're going to win and we found a way to do it. So just get that mindset. It's huge. That, that second half at, at Gonzaga, how, how tired were you guys as far as some of the open shots? Would you say that was more fatigue or missed strategy? Uh, a little both. Fatigue and just not communicating, I think was huge. Just not communicating where shooters are. Or we just gave them too many open looks and we didn't communicate well enough. So we got to do better.